Hi, I'm Tracy from Pat Fox Creations. I'm a broke, lazy creative person making pretty things for my home and family. Um, welcome to my first YouTube video. Today, I'm doing nail polish modelling. A few years ago, my in-laws got me into plants and being in a small town, I'm pretty limited on my choices. So I've started decorating some and pretty, hey, just a normal department store pot decorated. A lot of tutorials show how to do cups, so you can do this on cups, basically anything ceramic, bowls. One thing to remember though is you're doing cups or bowls, um, it is nail polish, so it is toxic, so I don't take it right up to the drinking line. Um, one thing to everyone, so I will try to give you some tips and tricks to help you get good results, even if you don't think you're creative, I will try to help you. Hopefully I don't ramble on too much. Okay, so we'll start with what you need. You'll need a bowl of water. I was starting to use buckets when I first started doing these, um, but I found something that's uh, shallower but wider is generally a better. Um, because if you're dipping, you need a pool of um, paint that goes all the way around, but only that deep. Um, so if that makes sense, you need it wider than it is deeper. Um, I've got this one, um, you will get paint on it, so just something you don't mind getting paint on. Uh, I was, before I bought this bucket, using a plastic bag to line the bucket, um, and then just throwing it out, but I found that very wasteful with plastic bags, and they're only a couple of dollars, um, I think this one was five dollars. You'll need uh, nail polish, of course, any sort of one will do. I'm all about using ones that you've got at home already, if you've got some at home already. It doesn't really matter, I've tried different brands, um, like Revlon, like brand name ones, or Dollar Shop ones. They all give a good result, but one thing I have found is that if you mix different brands, they don't have the same consistency and you don't get that real marbled effect, they just sit on top of each other. And I've ruined a few pots doing that, so if you're going to go cheap, get all cheap or all expensive. Um, something to dip. This one, I'm going to do two today, so I've got this little bowl, that's pretty cute. And I've got this little guy, he's a hanging one. I'm going to do this one first actually. Um, you'll need something to swell the paint. An old stick from the garden will do. Um, basically anything. An uh, old cloth or something to put your drying projects on. This will, I'll tell you about that later, that's a secret device. Um, nail polish remover if you need to clean up any mistakes or just acetone from your hardware shop. And I think that's it, let's get going. So what you'll do is pick some colours. I immediately, I like sparkly things, I chose some glitter colours, but I found when you're marbling they don't really give a very good effect at all. Um, so what I do, if you like a little bit of shine, I, I've used a lot of metallics, so the metallics are really nice. Um, you can use two colours, um, you can use three colours. Found something that something that looks nice together but is different, so it will give a nice pop when you're doing the marbling to give that a really good marbled effect. Um, so I, I usually like to go three colours. So what I usually do is go maybe like a blue, that one's empty, blue, a purple and then something to give a pop, so something like um, a gold, do I have a gold? No. Or even a light colour, something that will contrast with them. So I'm going to use these. Um, there's a dark green, a light green and a gold. So you'll want to fill the bucket with water most of the way up. Um, you'll need to dip your, you'll need just enough to dip your um, item as far as you are planning to. And you sort of need to work fast once you get going. So I'm going to shake them all and have the lids off already. So 
So when I'm using three colours, I do um, the one that's my pop of colour, I do that in the middle. So what you do is don't work from too high because otherwise the paint will go through the water like that. So just slow, not too slow, but put that in there. And that will just sit on top of the water. And put my gold in. I find the one that I do in the middle of the three colours, you just get a touch of it. That's why I use that pop of colour in the middle. And then the dark colour. When they stay all swirly like that, you don't really have to do much. You don't really have to drag them around. But I'll just do that. And now I'm going to dip. I'm just going to hold this and I'm going to go on an angle. So I don't know if I can get it really straight straight. So if you if you don't know that you can go straight, I'd go on an angle so it looks like you're meant to be on an angle so it doesn't just look like a straight stuffed up. So I'm going to go like this. Kind of slowly. Take it out. How does that look? Ah, oh, that looks amazing. So there is my first one. My little hanging pot. Okay, so I've put the other pot aside to dry. What I used to do between um, items was I would empty all this water out and get new stuff but uh, the town we live in has fairly um, bad water restrictions and I found that was really wasteful even if you do put it in your garden to water your plants it's still wasteful so I found out what you can do is just use your stick drag it around you can get all that spare paint off the water and then you can use it again with your water too I didn't mention before warm water is better um, it'll help the paint not dry as fast. So something like a baby's bottle or a uh, lukewarm um, cup of tea, something about that, just um, room temperature, not cool. So the second item I've got to dip is this little pot. I'm gonna do this a full cover. Uh, I'm not gonna go halfway up like the other one. So how do you do a full cover? I've got this little device here. It's a, a empty spool of thread with a zip tie. Um, you could use a stick and a string, a pipe cleaner, um, anything that sort of emulates this sort of look. And what you're going to do is stick that through there, and then you're going to use this to dip it, and then you can dip it all the way and get a full cover. Okay, so I've got my second pot here to go. I'm going to try something a bit different with this one. I've got um, two metallics, gold, silver and a mint. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, my first colour I'm going to do as mint. This is a different brand from the first video. And if you get addicted to this and you do try different brands, you'll find that they um, react differently when you start pouring. Some of them spread a lot, some of them hold their swells more. This one's spreading a fair bit. Try some silver. Not much left in the silver pot, so I might not get much from it, but we'll see how it goes. I'm doing a nice wide puddle, almost a hole width of the bucket, because I'm doing the full dip on this pot, so I need a nice wide. Mm, 
green? Okay, I'll go more green. drawing sometimes it helps to have an old um, glass jar or can or cup or, or something around um, I've just grabbed this one from the pantry so you can um, put your pot upended it's a bit tricky for me to turn this over onto its feet just yet because it's still wet where I'd have to touch it um, so I'm just gonna let it dry like that for a bit until I can handle it to turn it over thank you Thank you for watching. Much. If you um, have any comments or questions, just leave them in the links below. Comments.